Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to the Forest of Arden. Today, we are talking all about your wrists, and we're gonna show you how your wrists should move in the golf swing. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden, again on the 17th tee, this par five. Uh, and in today's video, we're talking about a really important subject, which is how you use your wrists in the golf swing. Now, the good news is, each wrist has really only got two ranges of movement, but we need to get those correct in order to play good golf. And if we look at the golfers who really struggle with the game, we can often link many of those, uh, those faults back to how their wrists work in the golf swing. So let's quickly go through what those ranges of motions are, and then we can talk about what we actually need in the golf swing. So I'm just gonna use my glove hand, but you can imagine that my trial hand would have the same uh, range of movement as well. So if I just place my hand out in front of me this way, and I'm just gonna raise my thumb away so we can use that as a reference point. So if I was to hold my forearm, I can use my wrist to move my hand in this kind of fashion here, where I feel like I'm pointing my thumb down towards the golf ball and maybe more up towards the sky. Now, many of you might know this as kind of wrist cock, and certainly we're gonna have some of that in the golf swing. Again, if I hold my forearm, I'm gonna have this range of motion here. So we're gonna call that hinge. So you can see that the logo on my glove would point down towards the golf ball, and up towards the sky. So we've got wrist hinge and we've got wrist cock in this movement here. I would have the ability to rotate my hand as well, but that's really coming more from the forearm. So if I hold my forearm, I don't have that ability. So these are the two ranges of motion that we're going to be looking at today in this video. Now I've got my seven iron here, but on my six iron, I have got a device called the hanger. Now I use this, um, quite a lot in my coaching. I think it's a fantastic device for helping a golfer appreciate what they need to do uh, in their golf swing. So I've got this set onto my six iron. Um, it attaches to the top of the grip and the bottom of the grip here. And if I just take my address position down the middle of this fairway, and I'm just gonna place my lead hand on to begin with. So what you can see is I can place my lead hand on there and the hanger is not in contact with me at all. It just sits probably about an inch and a half away from my lead forearm. Now watch what happens if I raise my thumb and feel it works more up towards the sky. This is what we said was wrist cock. As I do that, I create a 90 degree angle between the lead arm and the club shaft, or about a 90 degree angle. But if you notice from that face on camera that the hanger has not made contact with my lead forearm, that relationship has stayed the same. So what we would tend to see quite commonly from golfers who struggle is through the backswing, they will create the wrist cock. But you can see here that I still haven't changed this relationship between the hanger and my forearm. So what I've done in that little instance is I've created this motion, but I haven't used the hinge, or I haven't twisted my wrist in any way. So let's just try this one again. As I create this wrist cock, thumb goes up, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wrist and I'm going to use that second movement that we said we had to rotate the hanger onto my forearm. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm trying to feel like the logo on my glove is pointing more down towards the golf ball. So now I've created that 90 degree angle that we said from the setup, but I've now rotated my wrist or hinged my wrist to get the hanger onto my forearm. Now if I move up to the top, we get a very, very different looking position. I get the hanger on my lead forearm. What that's done is it's got my lead wrist very flat and it will have changed the club face position as you can see there. So those two movements have to happen in the golf swing for me. They don't have to happen in the backswing and there's many examples of golfers who don't do them in the backswing. But for me, for the amateur golfers who don't have as good a wrist action as we would like them to have, doing them in the backswing is going to help. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to rehearse from setup to the backswing, creating the wrist cock and making this hanger create, uh, sorry, contact your lead forearm. So with that being said, it doesn't really matter to me if you're the golfer who's got a very wide takeaway and then your wrist action happens a little later in the golf swing, or if you're the golfer who your wrist action happens a little bit earlier in the golf swing. If we can get to the top with a nice wrist cock creating that angle between my lead arm and the golf club and I can get the hanger onto the inside of my forearm. I've effectively created the correct wrist motion in that backswing. I'm able then to deliver the club as I want in the downswing. Like I said a moment ago, how it gets from here to here, yes, that's gonna influence a lot of things, but as long as we get there, 
then we're not too concerned. So you need to be a little careful if you feel that you're the golfer who creates this wrist set but never creates this flattening. You can absolutely do it in the downswing. It's just so much more difficult. So once I get myself up to the top, good position. I really want to feel like I maintain that relationship right the way down to here. You can see how I've still got the hanger on my forearm. I've got my lead wrist flat. And what those things mean is that when I deliver the golf club with the handle forwards, notice how my lead wrist is still in this flat condition. The hanger is still against my forearm. This is going to allow me to get the handle forwards, yet still have the golf club pointing towards my target. If you have the handle forwards and the hanger is not against your forearm, Trust me, that club face is way, way open. And certainly for many golfers out there trying to get the handle forwards, we'll see you hit these balls way, way right of target. You have to get the right wrist action in order to fix that. Once you get to this point here and you've got that against your forearm, I would get you to rehearse to impact and then just let everything go right through to the follow through. And I don't really want you to worry too much about what happens to target side of the ball because if we can get things lined up pre-impact, we should be okay. Right, so let's go ahead and hit a shot. I'm gonna do this in a drill format. And this is how I'd like you to practice if you feel that like you struggle with how you move your wrists in the golf swing. So notice that setup hanger is between the forearms, not in contact with either of them. Top of the backswing, contact wrist set, work it down to here, rehearse it into the impact, and then just go ahead and let it go. Nice little low ball flight, pretty straight, obviously very, very low speed, but that's a great way for you to start practicing. For me, these hangers are fantastic. I will link the website down below. This is not an advert. I'm not being paid to tell you about this product. It's just something that I use quite a lot in my coaching. Really feel it helps the golfers that I see create some good feels, create some good ideas in their golf swing, and ultimately gets them hitting the ball a little bit better. So for me, definitely something to look into if you feel that like you struggle with this problem. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully there was some information in that video which is gonna help you next time you practice and play. Usual stuff is down below. There's a comments box, there's a like button, and there's also a link over here, my logo, click that. It would allow you to be a free subscriber of the channel. Thanks again for watching. We shall hopefully see you back here again soon.